there, my name's Jillian Gillies and I am the Director for Ambulatory Care and Oncology at the Dr. Everett Chalmers Hospital. And today we'll be discussing multiple myeloma, which is a type of cancer formed in a type of white blood cell called a plasma cell. So we're just gonna be covering some commonly asked questions by our patients and our loved ones who have been diagnosed with the disease. Uh, and today I have with me Dr. Salim Raza, who is one of our medical oncologists here at the Dr. Everett Chalmers Hospital. So Dr. Raza, I'm just uh, hoping that we can just begin today by addressing what multiple myeloma is for our viewers. Thank you, Jillian. Uh, plasma cells are very important uh, part of our immune system. Plasma cells produce immunoglobulins which fight infections. And when plasma cells become malignant, they fill out bone marrow and uh, crowding out the normal cell, result in bone marrow dysfunction and patient develop anemia. These cells sometimes involve solid bone and cause lytic lesion or destruction of the bones. And these cells in different part of the body sometimes produce tumor, which we call plasma cytomas. So this whole picture result in multiple myeloma. So how would someone know if they might have multiple myeloma or what are some common signs of symptoms that, uh, that our patients could look for? Multiple myeloma sign and symptom actually are non-specific. Uh, patient may have progressive bony aches and pain, progressive fatigue, and sometime there are biochemical changes in the blood, for example, high calcium level. When there are high calcium level, it can cause, you know, constipation, uh, alternate, alt altered conscious states, and uh, increased urination. So these are some signs and symptoms. So if somebody has these signs and symptoms for more than three, four weeks, and not settling down and there's no explanation for these symptoms, patient should contact family physician or take some advice. Okay, so again, if patients or those that are viewing with us today, if they think that they might be experiencing those symptoms, when exactly would you recommend they seek that medical advice? I think, uh, you know, normally, you know, if somebody develops flu or some other sicknesses, these symptoms are usual, you know, we can expect. But when there is nothing to explain these symptoms, then I think patient go to the physician. So then once they meet with the physician, what kind of diagnostic procedures do you then order? What process or steps are then taken? So diagnostic wise, you know, doctor will do some blood work to find out, is there any high protein level in the blood? What is the calcium level? what is the creatinine level because myeloma damaged kidneys as well. And beside these tests, pay, doctor will do either CT scan or x-rays of the whole body to find out is there any destruction caused by the plasma cells. And the most important test is the bone marrow examination. And the bone marrow examination tell us what is the burden of the disease in the bone marrow, how advanced is the disease. And it also tell us molecular and cytogenetics abnormalities which sometimes dictate what is a prognostic disease, what is the prognosis of the disease and how we can treat that disease. Okay, excellent, thanks for that. So are there certain causes or um, risk factors that a patient may have? So there is no particular cause which we can blame, but there are some associations. For example, patients who are getting older, especially above 65, they are at high risk of multiple myeloma. And there are some other risk factors like prolonged exposure to chemicals or radiation exposure increase the risk of multiple myeloma. And there are some ethnic group like uh, African American, they are at risk, and male are more prone to get multiple myeloma than females. So what then does treatment look like for our patients, or is there uh, a cure per se? Despite a significant improvement in the treatment, still unfortunately this disease is not curable. 
but it is manageable because we have many options now. For example, you know, most of the treatment which we deliver to the patient, these treatments are targeted therapies. It means these treatment minimally harm the normal cell, only target the tumor cells. And these treatment uh, classes include uh, proteasome inhibitor, immunomodulatory agents, and um, uh, steroids, dexamethasone, and targeted antibody therapies like teratumumab or isotuximab. So, but, the, but there are some patients who are relapsed and refractory in, in advanced cases. There is, a rec there, is a, there is a recent advances in the treatment, which include CAR T cell therapy and bispecific therapy, antibody therapy. And these treatment engage our immune system to kill the cancer. And these treatments are very effective and exciting. Can you expand more just on the recent advancements that you've just touched on? Yeah, for example, CAR T cell therapy, where we take blood from the patient and then make their T cell to fight cancer cell. And it's all done outside the body. And then patient uh, come to the clinic, we infuse these cells in, and these cells fight the cancer and patient get very good response most of the time. And bispecific antibodies are another type of antibodies which engage our T cell to kill the cancer. And this treatment is a continuous treatment till progression of the disease, but the CAR T cell therapy is only one time, one time treatment. So both are options and it depends on patient preference and resources wish to administer. Thank you for expanding on that. So are there other plasma disorders um, that perhaps our viewers should be aware of today? Yes, uh, beside multiple myeloma, which is a full-blown disease need treatment, there are some other disorder where plasma cell increase in number and there is some protein in the blood. These disorders are uh, smoldering myeloma and uh, monoclonal gammopathy of uncertain significance. These disorder don't need treatment, but these disorder need surveillance, monitoring of the blood for protein level and monitoring of their symptom, because these disorder may turn into multiple myeloma later on and need therapy. Excellent. Thanks for expanding on that for, for myself and the viewers. This has been uh, really informative, and I know that our viewers certainly will, will appreciate that as well. I really thank you for your time, for expanding on, on the knowledge today. And for our viewers today, if you're experiencing any signs or symptoms, I would encourage you to follow up with a healthcare provider. As well, be sure to subscribe to our Horizon YouTube channel where we're gonna continue uh, covering numerous health topics and conditions. Thank you very much for joining us today.